Well, let's instead talk to Mark Shanahan, who's Associate Professor of Politics at the University of Surrey. Uh, so, Mark, uh, hopefully you were able to hear some of what Liz Truss had to say there. What did you think of this initial speech she made as Prime Minister? Right. Well, it was a better speech than she gave yesterday. That, that was one thing. Yesterday, when she first found out that she won the contest, contest, she looked incredibly nervous and was very, very tense. This, I think it probably worked for her, having the 45-minute drive back from North Holt into Westminster to be able to gather her thoughts and get ready for this. I mean, this is the speech every politician wants to give in their life. Uh, the one where they stand in Downing Street at the lectern with all of the cameras of the world turned to them and can set out their vision. Now, unfortunately for Liz Truss, it's got to be a very immediate, short-termist uh, view. It's actually number two in her list of three, which is dealing with the energy price crisis that is probably going to take up most of her time during her first days in office. Um, but she kept the speak short. She is not a great public speaker, but she probably did as well as she could there. Now the difficult job begins. So she picked out three early priorities, as she called them. As you say, the energy crisis of obviously a key one. She also talked about uh, dealing with the NHS, but also about getting Britain working again, working, building and growing, she said. How important is her uh, finalising her economic strategy in the early days? I think Britain probably thinks it is working. So I actually thought that one was ever so slightly disparaging. I mean, where has she been? Has she, um, um, the, the Tory party has talked about us having record employment. Um, but Liz Truss seems to believe that the UK is not a particularly productive nation and could be more productive. It will be interesting to see how she makes that happen. Uh, her idea is to cut taxes, to uh, re to get away from the corporation tax rise that was due to come in and really to favour business. She is a free marketeer, which means giving uh, private businesses much more scope to invest. Uh, that's quite hard, though, when we are taxed so high at the moment. So she will also have to look at cutting taxes from the historically high level that they are in the United Kingdom at the moment. Um, whether she's going to have the headroom to do that, if she's going to spend over 100 billion between now and January in ensuring that the lights stay, stay on and that we can uh, cook our children's dinners uh, and still find another 40, 50, 60 billion for tax cuts by reversing the national insurance tax rise that happened earlier in the year and by not raising corporation taxes. Uh, it's, it's going to be quite some conjuring act if she pulls it off. She also talked about a severe global headwinds. How important do you think a foreign policy will be in these early days? Her foreign policy is going to be very important. Uh, ever since Brexit and coming out of the European Union, the United Kingdom has not really been entirely clear on what its place is in the world. It wants to be very, very close to the United States. Uh, so she will certainly look to President Biden and look at perhaps repairing some of the uh, less than convincing relationship that was occurring while Boris Johnson was prime minister. She also has to repair fences with Europe, and the signs are not particularly good for that. If she wants to um, withdraw the United Kingdom from the Northern Ireland Protocol by triggering Article 16, which was something she talked about in her campaign, that could actually start a trade war with the European Union. And that is absolutely the last thing that the United Kingdom needs. Then there are the issues around immigration. Is she going to continue with Boris Johnson's policy of being very hard on refugees coming across the channel, uh, potentially sending them to Rwanda? Or possibly some of these culture war policies that we had under the last administration might be pushed a little bit further back down the queue while she does build some international bridges and tackle the economic crisis at home. Mark, great to get your thoughts today. Thank you very much for joining us. That's Mark Shanahan, Associate Professor of Politics at the University of Surrey.